Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome back to the Read Pop Metaverse. We are joined here today with the, I mean, needs no introduction, honestly. There are over 1,100 of you in the chat that absolutely oh, know, yeah. know what, but the yeah. magnificent and the wonderful Noelle Stevenson. Thank you for joining us, Noelle. Mm-hmm. Needs no That's introduction. My fault. I did something wrong. Um, <laughs> hang on, hang on. I have the screen open in the background, and uh, I'm trying not to. Is there a ghost? Is there a ghost in the, in the chat room? There's a ghost. There's a ghost. It's me looking at the chat blowing up on the other screen here. Um, So everyone who is here, welcome. We are going to run this trivia. It's going to be uh, about 40 questions is what we've got for you today. And uh, unfortunately, our our platform supports a thousand players. But if you don't get in because there's so, so, so many of you, um, I'm going to encourage everyone to play along in the chat because it's still going to be super fun and we're going to have a good time. Um, the platform is, uh, called Crowdford. I'll share the screen right now, <gasps> Ooh. So if, the chat, if everyone who wants to join the game, uh, just goes to crowd.live and enters the code J-S-P-W-Y, uh, that will be how you join the game. Everyone saying hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. We love your hair, Noel. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll give everyone some time to get into the game. Um, While we're waiting on everyone to join the game, I'm seeing some people start to join now. Uh, I just want everyone to be aware that there is a stream delay. Um, The the questions are on a timer. The faster you answer, the more points you get. Um, But pay attention to your phone or your laptop or whatever device you're playing along on because you will see the answers there first uh, before you see them on the stream. So Watch the stream for the for the fun times and the pretty faces, but uh, pay attention to your phones. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, y'all. Um, I looked at these questions, and they're like hard mode. There are some where I was like, I don't know that I know the answer to that. So this is your chance to prove that you're smarter than me, and uh, and I'll be here watching you do it. <laughs> there you go. Nerda here first. If you want to be smarter than Noel Stevens, I mean, it's not that hard. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think five seasons of this show that everyone seems to love. And oh, would yeah. be <laughs> I would I would argue that a smart person can create something so nice. <laughs> you know, I try my best. That's all we can do. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was actually talking about it with some friends earlier that I was like, you know what I liked about Shira? I just like that it just made me feel good. And like sometimes you just need something that makes you feel good. Like I'm, I'm also watching Demon Slayer. That show makes me feel bad. <laughs> makes me, makes me it's sad. It's important to have a balance of feel good and Yeah, exactly. Like, I I'm like very okay. important. Yeah, I'm like, episode one, main character's whole family is murdered. I'm like, that's not a spoiler. That's episode one. <laughs> like, <laughs> that has been my watch list over the pandemic. It's just a stream of, like, on the one hand, like, the terror, uh, which is a great, terrifying disaster uh, uh, show on AMC. And then, like... America's Next Top Model. So wow. yeah, it's been all over the place. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> so <laughs> we are we are very close to capping out. We're about to cap out on the number of players here. So I just wanna, okay, there we go. We are maxed out, but right. uh, it says existing part. So it keeps going. It just keeps going. I'm very confused by it. It's telling me, hey, participant limit reached. Um, existing players can answer, but no new participants can join, but it definitely says 1,046 out of 1,000. Either way, if you guys want to keep trying, go ahead. Um, We're going to get started. (laughs) Try and not crash this platform. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. Let's uh, (laughs) let's get this game going. Um, All right. Here here we go, everybody. I hope you're ready to to get crushed by some questions. Um, All right. Question one. Noel, what would you like to read? Okay. How many episodes total were there in She-Ra and the Princesses of Power? I feel like I should sing the like Jeopardy song or something while we do this. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. The answer was 52. 52 seems like such, I guess, because they're, 
13 episode seasons, right? Yep. Yep. I feel like that's a sneaky one. You want it to be a nice round number, but it's not. It's not. It's <laughs> nice and round. That's the sneaky. <laughs> There's so few right. times in life when that happens. What is, oh, the next few questions are all the names of the rune stones. So get ready oh, for that. Right. What is the name of Perfuma's rune stone? I personally like um, Fanciful Flower. Beautiful. I'm feeling connected with that answer. <laughs> It's, uh, yes, the fanciful flower. <laughs> and it was Heart Blossom. Nice what? job to everyone who got that. Yeah, that was a tough one. Uh, some of these, some of the rune stones were obvious, and some of them are not quite as obvious. Uh, <laughs> so good. Well, you, <laughs> really good. In the show. you have to, like, really know your stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I tried to spoiler you know just a little look behind the veil i made some of these wrong answers and it was very fun to make answers that were close but not quite and then also ones that were completely ridiculous um, good job i think that's my favorite part about trivia is the ones that are like the red herrings <laughs> but this one is gonna be pearl see you know, like I like it. it's simple it's straightforward <laughs> Very exactly. Like and that's that's, that's another thing that I, I appreciate about the show. I'm like the names are simple, straightforward. Like I that know who weird. everyone is. <laughs> that one's fun. Yes. I, I really <laughs> like, like I don't know what Natasa does. Like net tossa. That's that's what I do. Like, <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> like, it's not that hard, people. Dead that's with the <laughs> Uh let's see, Scorpio's rune stone. I wish I could Scorpio see who's all getting these right, or like what the like percentages are. Like, yeah, we can. We'll check in every ten or so uh, questions. See this one. Uh, see, we caught some people with the red garnet. That was a sneaky right. answer. Yeah. I feel bad about it, but blood exactly. garnet was the correct answer. We I caught twelve percent. Hear it. We got twelve percent with the red garnet, and I'm sorry to those who did it. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so mean. I know. I I felt mean, but. <laughs> Frosty the Runestone, Snowflake the Runestone. <laughs> that could be a spin-off show. We could uh, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Frosty turns into a snowman. I don't know the plot of Frosty the Snowman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> we, um, I mean, I'm always the fan of like the snow day episode of, of you know, the anime. <laughs> We watched the Santa Claus this year for the first time over Christmas. That is a wild movie. No, it Just is a wild that. movie. It made me so think good. of that. I don't if know how you think of that. Santa Claus, you become the Santa Claus, and no yeah. one really gets into how terrifying this is. It is the Santa Claus. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know that. The, no the one is like, murder. They're like, you're Santa Claus now. That's that's the real cycle. You just gotta go for you. I recommend the North Pole lawyers if you disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're I'm just tired. completely distracted by the questions. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> this is one of the easy ones, right? I'm like, everyone knows this one, right? We did get most of them. Oh, I got a couple with the fake one. <laughs> oh, nice. I got I a couple with Jim. It's Glimmer's personality. Like she seems like she'd yeah. wake up every day and play like Eye of the Tiger and like punch her feelings out and then like, <laughs> yes. definitely not her mom, but probably Glimmer. Yeah. Maybe, maybe when, uh, when Glimmer takes over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see, let's see what we got up next. All right. What, um, are, we what are what are our options here? I uh, I feel like. I could have been way meaner with this question. I think you the, were a little mean. Answers. This one's hard. You think so? I think this one's hard. I I think this one is mildly difficult, except that I I almost put Bright Moon as one of the options, even though Whispering Woods is technically the right answer, right? And I, I thought mean, Bright Moon would have been too Bright Moon, Bright Moon is within the Whispering Woods, so I guess. Yeah. But I mean, tech, right. where is the rebellion not? They're everywhere. Yes, that is that is the difficulty with this, right? Yeah. But like, I guess its main base of operations is the Whispering Woods, which love the concept, right? Just love getting lost in a forest forever. <laughs> what story is complete without getting lost in the forest forever? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this one. 
<laughs> this question very I don't think I saw um, the quick answers before you sent it to me, so these are new to me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I left the stove on. <laughs> That's kind of cheating. I don't know. I kind of like it. <laughs> You're going to go off, off in a tornado of fire. <laughs> That's like. <laughs> Some good final words. Turn the stove up. <laughs> Did I ever tell uh, you um, Shadow Weaver's actress improvised that line? Uh, and we loved it so much. Like it, she improvised it in like the first episode of season five. She was oh just like, I just saved them. I feel like I should get a you're welcome. And we were like, yes, absolutely. You are brilliant. Um, and then by the time we got to the finale, we were like, call back, call back. <laughs> Pull the you're welcome out. <laughs> it her personality so well. <laughs> I loved that. Yeah, no, that Shadow Weaver, she's a bit of a badass. And, and I, can't, I can't be too mad about a, a bit of a badass. <laughs> she's just in her own world at all times. And Shadow Weaver, sort of thing. <laughs> where she's always right about everything. <laughs> yeah, I think she maybe needed to take... Um, some of Light Hope's advice though, and maybe just let go also. I don't know, maybe that's yeah. just me. <laughs> three times where that would have been the right thing for her to do. Maybe, maybe if more than one. The right thing or not, you know, not the best <laughs> uh, Let's see, oh, what is the name of Flutterina's town? See, I barely know this one. I've forgotten like all the town names now. I mean, it's definitely Yonkers. It is. So. Right. I forgot it, except I know that it's definitely Yonkers. What arena? I'm from Yonkers. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. New Yorkers that I might have just offended. AKA. <laughs> I appreciate how much you're having with these. <laughs> this is fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, I didn't put the right answer. Hang on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm wait, so wait. sorry. That okay. was definitely Alberon. Just yeah. so everyone's aware, okay. it was Alberon. But uh, but the next question is, uh, uh, which me. character? I feel Noelle, like I which walk here so no one can compare me. <laughs> Say more things. <laughs> yes, yes, perform. <laughs> <laughs> this is, oh, okay, so can you tell us which which character did you voice so well? The correct answer would be B, Spinnerella. Um, wow. One story: I went to visit my brother uh, and his uh, his family for Christmas, and my nephew loved Shira, um, and so he was like, he immediately wanted to play. Spinnerella and Natasha with me. So he was like, and, and so I thought it'd be fun. It's like, he knows I made the show or he calls it like Auntie Noelle's show. So he kind of knows, but he's also four. So I told him that I voiced Spinnerella and he's like, what does that mean? And then it, like the concept that like people are talking for the characters in the show, it like broke his brain. And so and so I thought what would be cool is like, I'll like say something in her voice. So I was like, yes, darling, you have beautiful nets. And he's like, and he like runs away and like hides in the closet. And no. like, I think I shattered his like grasp of reality. Like he was like so freaked out. And then for the rest of the day, he kept asking me things. He's just like, he quizzed me on every single actor. He's like, who talks for Hordak? Who talks for Adora? Who talks for Katra? Every single one for the rest of the day. And then he started getting really meta. So I'd be like, oh, you oh, know, man. Jordan, he talks for Seahawk. And my nephew would be like, who talks for Jordan? And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Tell you, man. <laughs> this, this is when you're like, maybe we are just in a virtual reality game, and we're we're the characters being played by the aliens, and this kid gets it. He I got never, it. I never thought how unsettling that would be to be like four years old and be like, we're real, but not. But it's like, we're are. not. We're not real. We're being voiced yeah. by other people. That's like, that, that tweet that was like, uh, I decided I didn't want kids when like I was putting my nephew to sleep. And he said, like, the wall people don't like you. And I was like, oh, oh, oh no. okay. <laughs> yeah, kids are not for me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Me <laughs> Moving on. Might be time to get out of that haunted English manor that you lived in. Yeah, definitely time to go. Time to go. <laughs> no, no spooky ghosts for me. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's, let's move on. We're, we're sorry. Okay. We're just... <laughs> Who sings the theme song? Oh. Um, I would love to see any of these. Like, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Imagine a ska version. Pick it up. <laughs> we'll have to work on that. 
I think that we can make that happen, right? Yeah, someone has to know real big fish. Yeah, just hang on. <laughs> so, someone knows real big fish. <laughs> of course, it was <laughs> Alia Rose, who did a wonderful job at it. The, nice uh, the chat. I thought that was a little bit of a trick question. I, I do think it was a little bit of a trick question, but I'll, you'll see why it wasn't that mm -hmm. big of a trick question. Mm -hmm. The chat earlier was singing the the theme song in the in the chat, just like lyric by lyric. Yeah, it was very yeah, wonderful. Y'all are amazing. Like, yes, everyone everyone's been doing so. They're having fun all day. Um, so here's second part to that question: Who sang the cover for the last mm -hmm. season? And this is why I was like, the last one was a tricky one, but not that much of a tricky one. This is the mean one, if anything. Yeah, it is kind of. Noelle, you sang it, right? I did. Yeah. I mean, oops. Don't give it away. Yeah, that was not yeah. a good for anybody. <laughs> I, I always try and hit that high note, and I can never make it. Oh, it's I firmly really believe that there are no bad singers. We I always think anyone can sing. Whenever we lock the final animation, we always watch the theme song and sometimes they're like, you want to skip? And I'm like, no, we're listening to it. And then me and oh, our no. training director, Richard, uh, we always go for the high note and it, it's a sound only dogs can hear, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, I firmly believe that with, with a little practice, anyone can sing. And I believe that heart makes up for at least 50% of the performance. So if you're feeling it, then I'm That's feeling what it. I think too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna sing the theme song. <laughs> yeah, maybe not right now. We have more questions to get through. <laughs> I in the end. Maybe, maybe at the end. Yeah, chat, we'll see. Also, just again, a reminder, we're, we're 12 questions in. Actually, let's look at the leaderboard real quick, but uh, make sure to pay attention to your phone because they'll show up on your phone before they show up on uh on the stream it's very behind nice job okay. well. oh man oh man look at those points you're doing great keep up the good yes. work yes it looks it's a real close game so far there's Ooh. plenty of time to to change this like i said we've got about 40 questions so. is having to listen to me sing the theme song so sorry I think that's everyone just <laughs> No, no, I think the opposite will happen. Well, I don't think that will, I don't think they will leave. <laughs> I think it'll live on the internet forever. No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, which episode contains images of the crew in the background? And this is a fun one. I did not know the answer to this question. I thought it was such a cute thing, though. I okay. love it. I also have a fun story about this one, though. How many fun stories do I like have time for? Are we doing okay? I mean, as many as you want. Okay. People are I can here. also just shut up and listen. That's also fine. <laughs> no, we don't want that. We want you to talk and to and to be part. <laughs> so our first uh, take for Princess Prom, our character designer Ray put like the whole crew in the background. Anyone who wanted like uh, their character in the background, um, and so but we had uh, our our line producer Matt. He, his thing is like he wears a baseball cap and glasses. And so when Ray designed him, it was like this guy with like baseball cap and, and glasses. And he was just real tiny in the background. So it's like, sure. you know, we don't really have baseball caps in Etheria. So right. then when we got the footage back, somehow Matt had made it in to every single shot. This man with a baseball hat and glasses, like not looking at all like he belongs in Etheria, is just front and center in every single shot in Princess Prom, including the catcher and Adora dance. He's like right oh. behind them doing the dance. And we were just like, oh no. Did anyone <laughs> notice that? Was mix this. <laughs> I'm watching it now. Like, some people are like, I did it. They're like, yeah, I saw DT. I saw him. And I'm like, I don't know no <laughs> Like it was a lot of like our fantasy versions. So it like, we're, like me and my wife have like a, a cameo, um, but like I'm green to like kind of try and fit into the world a little bit more. Um, but then there was just this one character that they were just like, you know what? We love this guy on his baseball cap. Let's let's put him in every shot. So that's that's my story. I love that. <laughs> um, that brings me great joy. And now I know that I was way too focused on Katra and Adora, I guess, last time. But maybe next well, we time. Did, yeah, <laughs> we, we we evened it out a little bit. <laughs> <Not> sure. <laughs> we did some of the extras. Yeah, there's a light sprinkling. <laughs> All right, let's see what do we have next. You want to read the next one? What does Ron Hordak's apron say in Taking Control? Oh, I like this one. This is a good one. Um, <laughs> These are really good fake answers. You're good at this. 
<laughs> Thank you. I this one I did have some help with coworkers because I I wrote hot buns. <laughs> and, <laughs> sorry, that was a spoiler. You had one second left to go. That was the wrong did. answer. Why did we do that? I wrote hot buns and I couldn't think of anything to top that. <laughs> So my uh, my coworker Derek, one of our marketers, came up with "Whisk Me Up, Scotty," which was also a very good thing. thing. Here's the thing: we we were gonna say "Kiss the Cook," and then it turns out that phrase is trademarked, so uh, we have to change really? it. Uh, wow. So I think anyone who guessed see it, you're right in spirit. I think you're this right. Was, this was actually a brutal question. If you if you remember those trivia HQ trivia days, that uh, this question got sixty percent of people that thought it was kiss the cook. I'm sorry, I'm so it was. Sorry, I'm so that was, sorry. It was legal issues. <laughs> yeah, that was that was cruel of me to put it in there. Is what it was. Yeah. So I'll I'll take the blame on that. <laughs> You're mean. It's fine. I'm sorry. I was trying to make it difficult for you. <laughs> and succeeding. Mermista, um, floral arranging is something that I feel like seems so easy in practice, but then is not at all. Right? Yeah, it's so hard. I don't it's understand. Really it. I don't get flowers. I try my best. I I got really like many other people in quarantine. I got very into house plants, but all like green foliage plants. Um, Right, so the yeah. coronation, obviously, yeah. right? We, we, how many people got that? Also, the flowers every time we have them. So, yeah, so it's long. you know we just we just do the best we can, right? <laughs> we keep alive what we can. We kill what we can. <laughs> the cats will like make eye contact with me and then reach over and like chomp yeah. on a flower, and yeah. we always make sure we have ones that are like safe for cats. So, right, but it, it's just I'm like. I, you know I'm sitting right here, right? I yeah, I have a cat who eats my house plants too, and it's unfortunate. Her name is Calypso, and she's Calypso. a little bit of a nightmare, but Why? she's she's cute, she's soft, but she eats my plants. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's. See. Do you want to read this one? Okay, what is the song that Scorpio sings in the underwater grotto in Perils of Pika Blue? This is also great. Uh, sneaky, scary. I'm I'm matching all of these. Pika blue, Pika blue, I see you. Happy birthday. <laughs> I, I do feel like the ones that are not correct here could maybe be correct one day. I think they should be. Lauren is an incredible <laughs> singer. We had so much fun recording that song with her. I love I, it. Yeah. We have so many singers on our crew and we're just like, you know, there, yeah, there are not enough songs. Maybe we we'll, maybe we should just do like a musical spinoff. Yeah, let's, one -off. Do let's do like mm -hmm. Shira Karaoke. And um, yeah, that sounds fun. I like it. That does sound pretty fun. I'm I'm in. Sign me up. Ninety two percent of people got this right. I did Everyone not. Everyone hang out one. after the quiz, and we'll do some karaoke. Pika Blue, I see you. <laughs> I'm gonna be proud of for forever. I really did. <laughs> uh, all right, which yeah. one of these is not the title of a Mer Mysteries book? Uh, Serpent of the Sea, Salter Ego, The Tides That Bind, and Secret of the Abalone. I would read any of these. They all sound yeah. sultry. Is my favorite. <laughs> so, these are all M. Willis. <laughs> sultry Go is my favorite and is a real one. It is the title <laughs> of a mystery book. It sounds fake, doesn't it? <laughs> the tides that bind sounds too that legit. Sounds like <laughs> that sounds perfect. Thirty people guessed salt, or thirty percent of people guessed Salter Ego. Oh. So, I would have guessed the same. I actually feel like Salter Ego might have been mine, so that's why it's like <laughs> it's nice, so nice. <laughs> sweet. I love that. <laughs> All right, let's see. We'll uh, we'll do another checkup on the, the scoreboard at question twenty after question twenty. Oh my god, this one's hard. This I is very hard. Heard of this one. Any of the questions that were like named the like the name of the episode, I was like, these are these are cruel, these are brutal. Um, and I, in an effort to maybe be nicer, did not put only names of the episodes from the last season. I could have put <laughs> that's smart. That's smart. I was, I was like, I'm gonna put Handling some early ones. Like, we'll see how it goes. Handling those that's title cards was was so hard keeping track of everyone who's like in the rebellion and who's chipped. It's like it was a, it was, it was fun. It's fun for us. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of moving parts, but you handled it very well. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth yeah. it. My inspiration yeah. was like, um, you know, at the end of America's Next Top Model, when one of when the girl will like fade away. I was like, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. 
I want to see them like <laughs> I've only ever wanted another show to apply that. Thank you. <laughs> That has been a lifelong dream, and now I know that that is true. I'm a top will... model fan on this. <laughs> I will never let that go. <laughs> that was... You're always like looking. You're like, where is she? It's gonna disappear. <laughs> I know. You're like, maybe. I feel like in the early seasons, the photoshopping wasn't quite as good. Sometimes you could catch it before it happened, and I was like, <laughs> 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 yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Love that. That's a great fun fact. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Reminder to chat. Uh, sorry that the the platform caps out at a thousand, but keep playing along in chat because it's gonna be real fun. I know, <laughs> I know it's really hard to pay attention to your phone while we're talking because I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was just so entertaining. We can't. I, I'm sorry. I get distracted too. I'm <laughs> I'm actively forgetting to do my job over here controlling the trivia questions. <laughs> we're having too much fun. <laughs> the planet where Mel where um. <laughs> let me see how many people got this one 79 percent of people got this one right nice job y'all nice is, yeah impressive i i feel like i'm not great at remembering all the names of the planets but that's i'm not either like that brain it's yeah fine. yeah someone else remember it for us right they're originally from the original she-ra or he-man and we'll just like go on like wiki gray skull and like scroll through yeah. and be like we haven't used elberon yet Let's uh, do it. <laughs> I know I was trying to all the mystique out of like running a show. <laughs> at some points I was trying to research like, oh, like maybe I can find like um some other like good wrong answers that are like actual wrong answers instead of my fake wrong answers, like <laughs> yonkers. And I was finding some questions that I was like, I think these are questions from old Shira and not new Shira, and I don't I'm not hundred percent enough on that. <laughs> The lore the goes deep. So <laughs> the lore is deep. The lore goes real deep. All right, let's do one more question and then we'll check on the, the, the leaderboard here. I think this says Swain the Rock Johnson. That might be a typo. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a freebie for you, chat. You're welcome. <laughs> That's like legally distinct, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Exactly. It's, you only have to change one letter. <laughs> Swain the Boulder. I'm curious to Johansson. see if people are going to get this one. I'm very curious too. I also like that the answer was all 80s WWE stars, like every yes. single one. Yeah, for what it's worth, I did, I did not write that wrong answer. That was, was provided for me from our friends at DreamWorks Animation, and I uh, laughed out loud at it when I saw it. Thanks, Craig and Rebecca. Yes, every single 80s WWE star. I, mean, I remember doing my research and watching all the episodes of Old Shira, and when, when Huntara comes in, and she's like huge and purple and like wearing like a like a purple bathing suit. And I'm like, I love this show. This show is love the best it. thing in the world. I really want this job. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> love to when, see I it. Showed, when I showed Gina Davis a picture of the character when she was voicing mm -hmm. her, she goes, her, the first thing she goes is like, I love her. She's purple and enormous. Yes. <laughs> I, I like two her things. Ass. I like, I like big. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh y'all cut to uh all Great. i want to do is see you turn into a giant woman thank you <laughs> that's a different show Incredible <laughs> different show all right we're still got we've still got trucky cheese i believe was still in first <laughs> last time too maintaining that first maybe place like work on the show and you, and you're just in disguise like what maybe, maybe maybe we have someone in disguise here which is unfair people are trying yeah. to win prizes here <laughs> But uh, I think our second and third place might have switched up a little bit. So still, we've got about halfway. So it's uh, it's anyone's game, really. They're uh, yeah, look at that. It's a close game. It's a close game. I'm gonna. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep chugging along here. Let's do this. All right. This is hard. Is it? I felt like. I don't know. I feel like this is the kind of question that would trip me up because you're like. That answer is too obvious, right? It's no way it's that answer. But what if it is that answer? I know, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> well, it is it is that answer. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. I was like, there had to have been one. Was there? 
No. Yes. I, like, I no. don't. We forgot to put a door in an episode, but maybe we did. <laughs> maybe I just forgot to put a door in an episode. <laughs> One of them was just like a black screen and like the wind whistling past, like nothing happens. <laughs> At one maybe. point, the leaf rolls past. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, who knows? Or like maybe she's off training somewhere and you know the gang's getting up to shenanigans without her. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, that does happen. There are times when that happens. It, it, it can happen. So At least we'll back to her a couple times. Yeah, right. exactly. So she was in every single episode. Good for her. We want right. to see it. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. We're see which town is Swiftwind from. Oh, this man. is like episode two, I think, right? It's like the very beginning. I feel like I will be like at the bottom of the leaderboard at this point. No, I don't believe that for a second. You're, we're just, we, I don't know. We're trying to be humble here and I respect that, but I, I'm <laughs> sure <it's> fine. <laughs> uh, Swiftwind is from Thamor, of course. Um, okay. I, I love all these like very elvish names though. They're all very cool sounding. <laughs> yeah, all from the original show. Yeah. Super mm -hmm. fun. Love this dude. <laughs> Okay, okay, so this one, this one was the one that I was like, I don't know about this. This is a, this is a tough one. We were talking about it before we went live. We were like, I don't know if we ever even got that close of a look, you know? Who's yeah. looking? I do. I, I think I know the answer. I hope I'm right. You probably know. Ah, I can't concentrate. <laughs> concentrate, people. Concentrate. You've got this. All right. All right. Yes. I was right. I'll take my break now. Light spinner's eyes were green. I, I wonder. Um, no, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> I, I really liked that uh, that characterization, and I like that we got that reveal early. I thought that was cool. I don't, you know, we don't have to wait for forever. That was a cool yeah. one. <laughs> it's just, you know, she's just like she goes. It's like you, normally when a villain does a flashback, it's like here they are in the past where they're not as bad, and then her is just like, oh, oh no, you were always like this. <laughs> nope. Always terrible. <laughs> Always the worst. <laughs> Actively the worst. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> yeah, no, she's awesome. <laughs> Again, can't be mad at a badass. <laughs> <laughs> what does... Maybe a little bit. <laughs> no, maybe a little bit. <laughs> so, you know, early on, truthfully, no one was supposed to be able to read the first one's language. It was something that like, our marketing department was like, we want to put this out. We want everybody to like be able to write it. Um, and so right. we had to go through and make sure that like, you know, we hadn't written any jokes on the wall or like, <laughs> we, totally had. We, had to, we had to redo a lot of them. Oopsies. <laughs> well, I would have loved to see a joke or two there. Uh, it means love. Which is also, I also didn't know this, and I, or maybe I forgot it. I don't know, but I was just like... <laughs> It's like it's raining in here. Like, okay. <laughs> I think at one point in the show, like someone, someone had uh, our our artist Oliver. He put the names of his three cats on the wall, but they're all named after food. So if you find oh. it, it's like it's like three. It's like mochi hamburger pizza or something like that. I mean, it's <laughs> I love. Food I don't know if I made it into the final one, but it's like. I, well, I I know at least seventeen hundred people who are probably gonna look now. <laughs> I would, I hope it was they would have found it already. Tweet it, tweet it at us at your <laughs> comment if you already found it, please. I'd like to see. <laughs> All right. Which two characters are not from Etheria? Okay. Not from Etheria. This one um was a little tough for me because I was like, the one was obvious, and then the other one, if you didn't really watch the whole show, you know, might not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you just took yeah, a really long one. bathroom break at a key moment. A really long bathroom break. Who knows? <laughs> Such a key moment to take a bathroom break in. <laughs> there was a what? Is going to happen? <laughs> the only way I watch shows these days. I like walk out of the room. My wife laughs at something in the show, and I'm like, "What happened?" I'm like, no, <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> at least, like, don't just keep it internal. Don't let me know that I missed something. <laughs> I don't need to know. It's fine. <laughs> what was Katra's first line in the series? You guys were saying. Oh, man. You're uh, never going to get this one. Day. No, I don't know. This. Let me let me wait a few seconds before I say something because I think it'll give it away. Uh, <laughs> chat was 
just spamming this all day too. Oh, <laughs> so my, my. I think they know. I think they know. It's it's Aidora. <laughs> I just remember I just like kept putting that in early scripts and eventually our executive just goes, is this a thing? And I was like, I guess so. It is now. <laughs> if you ask if it's love, a thing. I love doing a callback. What can I say? Yeah. We, we love it. Callback. There goes the chat. They're doing it. <laughs> oh, look at them. Look at them go. <laughs> They're like, yeah, this one was a freebie. <laughs> The one that thought it was hard. Is in like Princess Prom where she says like hi Adora instead of hey Adora. I was just like and the people oh, revolted. Yeah, she hasn't gotten her catchphrase nailed down yet. She's work workshopping it. Getting there, getting there. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. You know, it's fine to workshop a catchphrase. <laughs> okay, so I barely know this one. I, I don't know if this is according to Noel or according to evil past Noel. <laughs> it's in the deep recesses no of the brain somewhere, Noel. You search deep within yourself. You know the truth of astrology. <laughs> look, look deep within. You know the truth. <laughs> I don't know that that's the one I was thinking. <laughs> According to Noel. <laughs> According to Noel, she's a Sagittarius. <laughs> what is that? Is that like this early December? Sagittarius okay. is. Maybe I'll give it a Google. <laughs> oh, it's fine. We know many things. We are smart. We know all about the zodiac. Of course we do. <laughs> November to December. <laughs> okay. I have approximate yes. knowledge of many things. An approximate knowledge of many things. <laughs> yep. We nailed it. <laughs> okay. We're going to carry on. <laughs> uh, Noel. Okay, I do remember this one. Yeah, I stand by it too. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. I I believe that Scorpio would love any of these bands. To I be fair, too. I think you're right. I feel like I feel like that anyone could be right, but there is one real right answer, and the right <laughs> answer is <laughs> nice. Yeah, right back, right back. Just, you know, I I just I yeah. I just feel like she'd go for those like sad like mm -hmm. sad romantic ballads. Also, I think Scorpio might be the only one in the horde who has access to like a playlist. I just I don't even know where she got it. I just think that she has. She has it. She's the only one. No one else does. They're like, what? Is, what is that? She's does like, she share it, or is it like a secret? I mean, I think she goes around like singing all the time. I, that that was like yeah. an incident with yeah. like Lauren, like Lauren and us for a while. She's just like, yeah, <laughs> Scorpio's yeah, yeah, yeah. always singing to Katra, and Katra's like, what is happening? Like, what please is stop. <laughs> I'm done with this. <laughs> <laughs> the beach boys right. may want to see the beach special with like beach volleyball and scorpio like you know joining a beach rock band and yeah one day yeah. One day I, yeah I would pay to see it just just fyi and i'm sure pops it with her claws i love this sign me up where do i start <laughs> <laughs> uh, who coined the phrase Terrifying. Terri ter <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. I didn't coin the phrase, clearly. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Maybe you Can did. You? Maybe it was you from no. last time traveling and taking oh it as a show. <laughs> Imagine. Think about it. We got two Scorpio questions in a row, baby. I love Scorpia. I love her little, like, I don't know if it's lipstick or if her, her lips are naturally like that, but I rewatched the yeah, Princess Prom recently. I'm like, dang, that dress looked good, Scorpia. Yeah. You are looking good. Yeah. I love Scorpia. <laughs> Scorpio's good vibes. <laughs> All right. All right. This also, if you don't get this, I believe in you. I feel you. like I'm going to get this one. Who was she -Ra before Adora? They say her name so, so many times. Mm -hmm. You can't get this wrong, mm -hmm. right? Remember, chat, pay attention to your phones and or devices that you are playing this on. You've got this. I believe in you. <laughs> and after this one, we'll check. We'll take a look at the leaderboard again, too. Nice. We'll, we'll see how we're standing. Ready? Mara! Yay! Yay. Um, I love the name Mara. Right? Yes. See, um, so Mara was actually a character from, not from she but from another, like, adjacent, like, I think the new Adventures of He-Man. Uh, oh. She, like, looks a lot like, you know, our design of her. Um, but then it was also, like, I'm a huge fan of Mara Jade from Star Wars, so it was, like, a little 
secret double like uh, like reference there. Wow, I love that. Yeah. I also have a cat named Jin after Jin or so from Star Wars, so. I have asked my wife if when we have kids, we can name one of them Mara. I don't know if that would be weird or not. <laughs> I don't think it's weird. I think Mara's a beautiful name, honestly. It really when, is. You're, when you're when you're a writer and you like put all the names you think are cool in your scripts and then you're like, well, now we're like, well. <laughs> well, now is it weird? <laughs> And then my kid would be like, wait a minute. <laughs> I ruined that for myself. <laughs> my parents killed me in something. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, child. <laughs> We've got Trucky Cheese still at the top here. Second yeah. and third have changed again. Go, Trucky Cheese. Yeah, Trucky Cheese is crushing it, but still very close. It's a, such a close game. There's like 10 points between the two of you at the yeah. top there. Well, we've got a we've got a quarter of the way to go. Let's right. see. Friends of Mara. Everyone agrees Mara is a very cute name. Right? And they're all saying that they're a friend of Mara, which is cute. I love this. <laughs> um, all right, guys, let's get it going. We've got the last few questions left. Pay attention to your phone. Play along in the chat. Let's go. If it'll go. <gasps> okay. This one is a deep cut. This is a deep cut because I got this wrong. <laughs> I got this wrong. I put the questions in and I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> it's a tough one. So uh, it's, uh, it's, is it Kari or Carrie? Kari, I believe. Yeah. Kari yeah. And did a wonderful job with it. Again, the Kari, chat was singing it. Kari is just like, like a, like a very uh, uh, ubiquitous, is that the word? Uh, a prominent songwriter. Um, mm -hmm. And apparently wrote one of like, uh, I want to say the Backstreet Boys, like one of their hits. Really? Sure. I should have these facts more or less. That's kind of wild. No, right? I always get so surprised when they're like, yeah, like here's this one person that has written like all yeah. of your favorite hit singles of the last 10 yeah. years. It's this one person. Like Pharrell. Pharrell yeah. has written for so many people. I'm like, wow. The music that's that, talented. Like, it's the one thing that I just really don't know much about. Like, I just like, yeah. you know, I'm a fan of music, but like, it was really yeah. cool getting like, I would like sit next to Kari and, and Alaya would be singing and, and it was just like, you know, they're like talking about how to like, like what part of your throat the voice should come from to like hit a certain note. And I'm just like, this is amazing. I don't know what's happening, but I'm like so Thanks. excited to be here. Yeah, it's black magic and I love it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm always surprised, like super impressed with people that can just like churn out songs. I'm like, that's magic. <laughs> that's magic. All right. What is the only thing that yeah, Double Trouble's powers will not allow them to replicate? This this is also a toughie, I feel like, but not that tough, not much of a toughie, but a little bit. I think, I think we'll let's see how many people got this one. Yeah. 87% of people got this one. Yeah. yeah, I know that was a rule, but I don't think we ever stated it. But there is a part where like uh, Double Trouble is Flutterina and their wings like fly out and they kind of like fly in the air for a second. And there was like so many debates on the crew of like if that was allowed or not. We we're like, well, you know, the physics of it. They do sure, have for sure. So like, you know, right, like, like, create a little backdraft and like. Or wings magic. <laughs> I don't know. We're a bunch of nerds about this kind of thing. <laughs> I love that though. And I'm sure that the, the, the viewers here love it too. Like there's nothing better than hearing people like nerd out about stuff that they love. Like I will listen to you talk all day about something that I could not care less about if you're just super excited to talk about it. It just makes it more interesting. I love our executives because they always challenge us on those things. And we end up having these really deep lore conversations. And it's just like, it's so much fun for me. It's like my favorite thing because I'm a huge nerd. I love that. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, we'll be like, well, you know, and because it's like a writing exercise too. Keeps you sharp, keeps you on your toes. <laughs> yep. I love it. All right, let's see. What is the first kingdom we see in the series? This also, I feel like yeah. I got a little tricky with the answers and yeah. maybe, maybe pay attention. <laughs> let's see. Who are, who are we rooting for? Who is Gabby? I see a lot of people in chat caring, rooting for Gabby. Good luck, Gabby. <laughs> Everybody, you are just all having fun. As long as we're all having fun, I'm happy. I'm so glad that everyone's here, that we're enjoying this, that we're enjoying each other. It's, it's great. This is a great show. It brings a lot of fun people together. I uh, have, I was completely distracted by chat again. So the answer is the fright zone. 
the Bright Star request does count as a kingdom, but I was very, I was very quick to answer Bright Moon, and I was wrong. So, yeah, like, I was like, yeah, what are you counting as a kingdom? That's yeah. I, according to the DreamWorks, our friends at DreamWorks Animation, it, the Fright Zone counts as a kingdom. So I was like, yeah, you know what? Another part where I'm just like, I'm like, I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I feel like I'm just ruining the mystique about around all these things. But I feel like there was a time where like Scorpio's family's kingdom was named something other than the Fright Zone, and I don't know if that ever actually made it into the show. I don't think it did. So yep. you're all right. Yay. <laughs> See, the more you know, <laughs> who knows? Oh, yeah, no. like, the Fright Zone is a kingdom. Like, <laughs> the Fright Zone is a kingdom, according to the officials. Okay, and yeah. I don't want to hear anyone. <laughs> don't yell at me. I didn't choose that right answer. Go, yeah, <laughs> DreamWorks. I'm just kidding. So don't yell at DreamWorks, but that's the right answer. <laughs> where is Huntara? Where is she right now? Huntara, where is she? Where in the world is Huntara? Where in time is Huntara? This she one, I also that. was like, this is difficult. I don't remember this one at all. I, yeah. Where is she? No, where is she? I where have you put her? <laughs> she does what she wants. <laughs> she's, she's in the Crimson Waste, apparently. <laughs> there you go. She's helping her people. And isn't that a noble cause? We love to see it. All right. We're chugging along, people. We're chugging along. What is the first thing we see Double Trouble Shape Shift as? Sneaky? Maybe. Probably not. Not at all sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> and I will wait to ask this question, but. All right. Carry on, ask your question. In my own memory now. Wasn't it Scorpia? Was it Scorpia? Someone said it should be Scorpia. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um. <laughs> so everyone is saying no it was Scorpia and for that I'm sorry <laughs> this was uh, no, but 86% I mean, of you still got it right with the Catra guess so I appreciate yeah. that Yeah. I, I was provided that correct answer I'm sorry that I failed you chat but I hope that you can forgive us I can't believe it I think it. everyone seems like it was Scorpia and Noelle I'm not going to try to fight you if you think it's Scorpia I believe you <laughs> Maybe they were a tree. Who knows? Maybe they were a tree. Yeah. There could have been a tree in episode one, and we wouldn't know. That's why they can't find their way through the Whispering Woods. They're like, these trees keep moving around. What is going on? And that's double, double trouble. trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Accepted. <laughs> the entire show. That's when you had that headcanon accepted. <laughs> This one also, I felt, was a little bit tricky, a little yeah, mean. Kind of. And again, I was provided this correct answer, and I tried to make the wrong answers very clear because I thought this was very tricky. It is tricky. But it's Bright Moon. So um, I guess I guess what they're saying is, like, do we first, like, physically meet when he actually comes back or when we're, like, introduced to the character of Micah? Who is we? Well, we the viewer, you know, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we we the people. <laughs> Micah and Bright Moon. Wait, no, I'm like... A lot of people think it was Mysticora. It seems like a lot of people are saying C in the chat. It looks like, yeah, it was pretty split. 44% for Bright Moon and 45% for Mysticora. I think for Mysticora, I'll like send you a pretzel or something. Because I think... I, yeah. Mysticora, I think, is where we actually see him, right? Because... We see like flashbacks of the training and stuff. I'm trying to remember the timeline now in my brain. It's all jumbled. <laughs> we don't see a dull yeah. right moon. Yeah, I guess I, I guess maybe the way Weaver sees them in Mysticor. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess the way that maybe um our friends at DreamWorks interpreted this question was where do we first get introduced to the concept of Micah? In which case it was in Bright Moon. Um, so yeah, sorry, that was a tricky has, one. Has mural on the wall? I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a tricky, tricky one. Some people are saying Kid Micah in the flashback. Yep. DreamWorks, okay. <laughs> All right. Which princess is related to Castaspella? I also really liked the nickname Casta, just Aunt Casta. <laughs> that is one of the harder names to uh, not laugh at. <laughs> Castaspella. Castaspella. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that also a character from the old lore? 
<laughs> it is, yeah, yeah. I'm not super familiar with the old lore. I've I've really only watched yours, so I was like, I I don't know who's from the old stuff. I I love that though. Yeah, <laughs> this was a softball. Okay, we had a couple yeah. weird ones yeah. where the answers yeah. were maybe. <laughs> But then we tossed, we, we underhand threw you one. So thank you. Sorry. <laughs> people mixed up with Natasha and Castaspella all the time because they both have like throwing like yeah. verbs in their names. So we get like Castaneta yeah. or like <laughs> those little like um, little clamshells. Yeah. You, the Castanets. <laughs> or it would be the thing where it was like people would be like, okay, so Natosa. And I'm like, no, it's Natasa. And they're like, Net Tasa. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Correct. You get this like, I, so did I stutter? It's just like that's that's what worked out here. You know what? That's what we're working with. Don't come for me. <laughs> All right. We've got another, I think two or three questions, maybe four. What is the Ooh. name? This one's I don't think I've ever seen this on the show. I uh I really want it to be one of these. And I know that I wrote the answers, and I so I really want it to be the one that. I, wrote, but I really, I just wish it was a little stinker. Maybe when <laughs> Leo and Kyle adopt Amp, they rename him Little Stinker. Who knows? I maybe. love that. Yeah. Poor small guy. I feel like Amp is just like maybe Hordak just didn't think up a name for him. He's just like, yeah, you're in. Yeah. Like he didn't think about it too hard. He looks like a little a little imp, and and so yeah. he and so he shall be. <laughs> so I it is like I, I really wanted to put Imp in the show. Imp is also in the original Shira, and he's this tiny little pig, leotard wearing creature, and can turn into things. So they'll be like, "Oh, I'll go eat this pie." Ah, it's Imp, and oh, <laughs> or like, a mimic. <laughs> oh no, like that kind of thing. So Dang, I, I wanted that. to find a way that like we could we could pay homage to that with Imp without it being like you know, a ho yeah, my path. Oh no, or, or whatever. <laughs> That is, uh, if anyone's ever played D&D, &D, it sounds just exactly like the concept of a mimic, which I love so much. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I love that. I, I thought the the sound repeating thing, the mimicking sounds was really cool. Yeah. Um, He's like, you like know. very handy. Yeah. Very handy. <laughs> a little answering machine. <laughs> this one too. Tricky, tricky. I was mean with this one and I'm sorry. <laughs> Hordak rocket when? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to see which way you're going to go with, with with this one. I yeah, because this is again. I was like, if you remember what the name of the the title of the episodes are, you'll know this one. It's she was making a pie. She wanted to make pie, but I feel like the one that everyone will think is the first episode where we meet Raz, where she's asking to pick berries. Wait, how many? Uh, like, with that one. Let's see. Let's how how many do we get? I feel like thirty two percent. Thirty two percent picked uh, chose pick berries. There's I mean, a lot of people in the chat too. They're like, Boo. that go together. They do both. That's what I was worried about. I was like, I'm worried that they'll be like, well, berry picking comes before pie making. So, and I was like, no, no. She's very specific. She wanted help making a pie. So, okay. <laughs> you're the expert. That's it. I'm no, by no means the expert. Well, do not put that title on me. I cannot live up to it. <laughs> yeah. All right. The last one, or, or let's see. This is the last one? I believe we might have one more bonus question right after this one. So, but Entrapta's favorite thing to eat only cookies, pasta, tiny food, dumplings. Tiny food, of course. I mean, I think as long as the other three things are tiny, she'd be okay. She'd with them. Them, you know? Yeah, she'd I look, would say so. A little bit. I of wonder. Color. Do you think that dumplings are inherently small enough to be of her liking? I feel like, so this was a, um, a line that Christine improvised at the end of uh, Taking Control, where they're like Glimmer makes, I guess they're buns, they're not really like dumplings, um, sure. but make buns for everybody. And at one point in chapter, you can hear her go, can you make these smaller? I, I have trouble eating things unless they're cute. So, <laughs> it's the cuteness factor. Exactly. I see, I totally get that's that. Like, that's the answer to your question. As long as they could be yes. made small and cute, she would be As down. long as it's cute. So do you think if I like put like a little sesame seed smiley face on the dumplings, that would be cute enough? I mean, I do think that the, the cuteness has to come with the tininess. Um, I, but yeah, I do I, think that yeah. she would appreciate the gesture. I do firmly believe that things that are smaller are cuter. If it's smaller than it's supposed to be, that is. Oh, yeah, if I see any tiny yeah. thing, I just lose my mind. I'm like, my, yeah, 
our, our one co- coworker got really into those uh, mini brands recently. She's collecting those. They're just like teeny tiny little versions of brand name products, and they're ridiculously cute. <laughs> they're so tiny. I have a tiny little tube of toothpaste that I got on a plane one time, and I'm like, yeah. I'll never use it. I don't use it. But there's enough in it. It's so small. I'll keep it forever. I'll, I'll keep you safe, tiny toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last question, and we talked all the way through the timer, so I'm all sorry, right. but who yeah. voices Adora? Come clean, Noel, it's you, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was Amy Carrero. She did such a good job with it. Me. And, yeah, and on the subject of Entrapta, I also love, love, love her voice actor. Like, I feel like she just got such a quirkiness to it that <laughs> just, like, really made that character shine i love entrapped up best. Oh, i just had a flashback okay. to filming the part where she's like flying around in space and it's just like this long scene where Bo doesn't realize she's drifting by the window and so when we did adr for that episode we just had christine just go for like five yeah. minutes just making different like mouth noises just like <laughs> losing our minds or laughing so hard and she just keeps going it was so good i i <laughs> love that <laughs> i don't know I love to see that made it into the show i think we use a good deal of it so yeah. we i good i would love to see behind the scenes one day <laughs> oh just that uh, also, i'm actually sad that we didn't have any bow character or questions <laughs> bow is one of my favorite characters also he's just so pure <laughs> so just so, such a good boy <laughs> But uh, that, okay, so, it's just so, so good. Just such a sweet boy. <laughs> um, that was our trivia. This was the last question. Yay. So we're going to just a little. Good uh, job, everybody. Let's see how we did. Truck e. Cheese. Truck Cheese. Cheese at the end really widened that gap, too. Look at that. Okay, I wow. really want to know which two did Truck e. Cheese get wrong. Probably. I would also really like to know. Yeah. And Mari actually got only one wrong, but I guess Chuck E. Cheese was just too fast on that trigger yeah. finger, and he uh, and they they managed yeah. to they managed to pull it out. Wow! So congratulations to everyone. everyone. Congratulations to Very everyone who played along. Yeah, everyone did really well. This is amazing. Yeah. Congratulations to everyone who watched along in the chat. Uh, you know, I I'm very impressed. I'm super. I mean, just thank you for the turnout. This was so much fun. I hope that everyone enjoyed it. Um, uh, so the top three people here will be in touch with you within within the week or early next week. Just give us some time. We're running a metaverse, but uh, we'll be in touch with you to, to send you your prizes. Um, Noel, is there any closing statements that you would like to share with us, the people? Um, <clears throat> thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. This has been so exciting just to be able to like spend some time in Etheria and with you guys. So thanks for coming from me and my nemesis mug. Uh, I love you. Um, and yeah, you're the best. You're literally the best in the entire world. <laughs> All right. I want to just have everyone join me in thanking Noel. I know that you can't say it out loud, but just pop it in the chat. Like, thanks Noel, for joining us. Like, yeah. this was really, really wonderful. Just yell it now. Uh, Scare the name. Great, yeah. <laughs> yell it into the void. I'm sure, I'm sure she'll feel it. <laughs> Make your cat go, what? <laughs> um, this is fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it was nice to scream. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels good. It feels right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, with that, we're going to let everyone go. I hope everyone has a lovely night and uh, and enjoy and, and uh, tune, tune back in for the rest of the week. We've got plenty more Metaverse to come. So see everybody. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>